Steve Van Dorn, the President and CEO of the Pleasanton Chamber of Commerce. And it's my pleasure to be with our May Member of the Month, Debbie and Jade Rodarmel. They are uh, with a great company called Life Plan Lawyer. So it's a pleasure to be with you today, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So first question we'd like to ask you is, uh, tell us a little bit about what you do and what kind of services you provide your clients. Well, I, Life Plan Lawyer is a wills, trusts, and probate law firm. So sometimes you'll hear that described as a state planning. Um, and so that's what we do. We help clients plan for inheritance. Also, incapacity planning is part of that. And then if somebody has passed away, then we help the family with that process as well. So tell us about why you became a Life Plan Lawyer. Yeah, great question. I, I actually went to law school in 1993, uh, graduated, but I decided I really didn't like law at that point. So I had a career in computers, um, and then when I decided I was going to come back to law, I really had to think about what type of law do I want to practice. And like all of us in life, uh, we've had experiences in terms of death um, and, and dealing with that situation. and. Um, so I lost my mother when I was 19. That, that sort of made me more comfortable, I would say, with death mm -hmm. than a lot of people that age. And so uh, that was one of the reasons. And the other reason is all the attorneys I met, it was the estate planning attorneys that were the, the coolest and the, the nicest. So uh, that's what led me into this. So Debbie, uh, you're uh, a husband and wife team, you and Jay. So tell us a little bit about your role with the firm. Okay, I am the office manager of Life Plan Lawyer. So I answer phones, I schedule appointments with the clients, um, I remind them about paperwork and deadlines that they have. Um, I help Jay with the different things, and you know, I'm just there for clients if, if they have questions. Um, one of the things that I love about working with my husband is that he's such a caring person and people say that when they come back to us after they have their estate plan, they come to pick things up, that they just love working with Jay and me um, because, you know, we really care about our clients mm -hmm. and, and uh, it comes across to them. So Jay and Debbie, I've always had this uh, question about when, what's the difference between a, doing a will and doing a living trust? How do you know that, what to do? Yeah, great great question. I, I hear that all the time from clients who call um, or prospective clients. Mm -hmm. And the, the short answer is that wills are subject to probate. So regardless of what state somebody lives in, if they die and they have just a will, they're gonna be going through the, the probate process, which is a court process. Some states that's not so bad, but California, we tend to have a very lengthy probate process. So Alameda County here, it's actually 18 months is the average. Wow. And we have a very expensive probate process. So a $1 million house going through probate is $23,000 paid to the attorney. So a trust avoids that, and so that's the main reason in California, we like to use a revocable living trust. You just saved us $23,000. That's right. Thank you for that advice. <laughs> Great. Excellent. So you've been a member of our chamber since 2017. Uh, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, what value and benefits have you received since you've been a member? Well, it, it's funny you ask. I just saw uh, Ricky Walters today, and he was giving me a hard time. He said, remember how long you dragged your feet before you joined the chamber? <laughs> um, which was true. It took a couple years to, for them to convince me. Mm -hmm. um, Debbie reached out to some of our clients that we've um, worked with through the chamber to see if we could share their photo, and you're seeing some of their photos with their permission shared in this video. Mm -hmm. um, I think she counted over 20 clients. So that's one very specific benefit, obviously. Uh, the bigger one, I think, is that Debbie and I get to have date nights uh, <laughs> when we go to the, the mixers. So that's, and we get to write them off. There you so. go. <laughs> Two bonuses. Wonderful. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Now, uh, closing, uh, how, if someone needs your services, uh, how would they contact you? What's the best way to do that? So the best way to do that, through our website, uh, there's a uh, book a consultation link at the top. Uh, if you go there, there's a free 20-minute consultation. Uh, one of the things I do that's a little different than other attorneys, 
Uh, I understand people are reluctant to contact attorneys. They can be expensive, it can be intimidating. I avoided them most of my life, um, except when I had to see one for a divorce. And so I try to be as approachable as I can. So there's a free call. Uh, it's truly free. I give advice and I will quote pricing on the phone. Uh, my pricing for estate plans is all flat rate pricing. So uh, no pressure, you'll understand everything that's involved and then from there people can decide if they want to go on further. Move forward, great, yeah. wonderful. Well, it's been a real pleasure being with you today. Congratulations you. on being May Member of the Month, yeah. Debbie and Jay with Life Plan Lawyer.